What I'm going to do with this question is to take this information as given in the question and then first build a picture of this economy. And then we will deal with all the issues and questions as it arises. So I will use this information that is given in the question and I'm going to draw a diagram of the economy. So what we were given is the marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.5, autonomous consumption 600, autonomous investment 40, autonomous government spending 280, and autonomous taxes is 300. So what I'm first going to do is to determine the vertical intercept, which is a combination of all your autonomous components, which is autonomous consumption plus investment plus government spending minus C times taxes. If we use those values, it's 600 plus 40 plus 280 minus 0 0.5 times 300. And if you count up this, we get 920 minus 150, we end up with 770. So that is your vertical intercept is 770. What we need now to do is to calculate the equilibrium level of income. Now in order to, that, to do that, we need the value of the multiplier, which we get from the marginal propensity to consume. So the multiplier is 1 over 1 minus the marginal propensity to consume, which is equal to 1 over 1 minus 0 0.5 equals 2. I have a multiplier of 2 with autonomous spending of 770. So we can now calculate the equilibrium income, which is equal to the multiplier times the autonomous spending component, which is equal to 2 times 770 equals 1,540. So to plot that on the diagram, that will be our aggregate demand. Here's our 45 degree line. So we know now the equilibrium level of income of the economy is 1,540. So we have calculated the autonomous spending, the multiplier, and we get to the equilibrium income. What we also can now quickly look at is what is the budget deficit or surplus by government. Now that is equal to government spending minus taxes. Now in this case government spending is 280, tax revenue is 300, so we end up with a surplus of 20 on our government budget. What we're going to do now is in the next clip is to look at some of the questions and the other variables that we're going to use.